Today's math lesson is going to dive into understanding the relationship between addition and subtraction. This lesson is from Unit 6, Lesson 13. Let's take a look at the first activity. Now, as we learned at the beginning of the year, we can use math mountains to represent different kinds of equations. Here is our first math mountain. And you may say, well, these numbers are really small, and they are, but it's a good review to see if we remember how to make equations from a math mountain. At the bottom of the math mountain, we have six and four. Now, we have a special name for those in second grade. We call them add-ends. Sometimes we even call them partners. You probably called them partners in first grade. Both of those words are correct add-ins or partners. Then up at the top we have our total. We also call it the sum. In my class we use a special trick. We say that the number at the top of the mountain is the king of the mountain because it's the biggest number. The king always lives at the top of the math mountain because he is always the biggest number. So if I am solving a math problem, one of my bottom add-ends cannot be bigger than the king. Now, today we're going to be doing equations where we're going to need addition and subtraction skills. So let's do a quick review where we make two addition and two subtraction equations. Let's start with addition. As we know, we have two add-ends at the bottom of our mountain. They even have a special part in their word. It even says the word add. We add those two numbers together to get us up to our sum, or the king of our mountain. So this is a good trick to remember. We can put those two numbers first. Let's write the first one. Six plus four equals 10. I put my two add-ins together to get my sum or my total. Now the other addition problem that we can make is we can do a flip-flop of those two numbers. Four plus six equals 10. Both of those statements are correct. And no matter which way you put it, four and six make 10. Now subtraction is a little bit trickier because in subtraction, we can't do six minus four equals 10 because that won't work. Here's something that my class always does to help remember their subtraction. The king of the mountain, which is our 10 in this problem, loves subtraction, and he wants to go first in all of these subtraction problems. So anytime I'm subtracting, my king is going to come first. He's very greedy and he loves subtraction. So he is first in line for subtraction. The king comes first. Now I can plug in my other numbers. 10 minus six equals four and 10 minus four equals six. I flip-flopped those last two numbers around, but like we said, in subtraction, the king comes first. So in this problem, it was 10. Let's try one more math mountain to practice. Now in this problem, we have our two add-ends, but we don't have our sum or our total. So we need to add them up to get the king of our mountain. Let's add them up on the side. 16 plus 47. Let's start in the ones column. Six plus seven. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, did I make a new 10 in 13? Yes, I did. Let's put it in the tens place. Let's put our three ones down at the bottom. Now let's add our tens, four, five, six. So 16 plus 47 
equals 63. Now we can add our equations. Well, we already solved our first equation. We did it over here. 16 plus 47 equals 63. Let's do a quick flip-flop. 47 plus 16 equals 63. That's great. Now, do you remember who always likes to come first in the subtraction problems with our math mountain? The king. The king likes to come first when we subtract. That's our biggest number in these problems. Let's do 63 minus 16 equals 47. And 63 minus 47 equals 16. Now you might say, why are we practicing these equations again? We've already learned about math mountains. But in our work today, we need to put addition and subtraction in our minds to be able to check our answers. Let's take a look at an example. Here's our first problem. Looking at the problem, I see that it is addition. So we're going to be adding. Let's go ahead and add. When we add, just like when we subtract, we always start in the ones place. First, we have 8 plus 5. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 ones. Did I get a new 10 if I have 13 ones? Yes, I did. Let's move that 10 over to the tens column and bring the three ones down to the bottom. Excellent. Let's go to the tens column. Seven plus four plus one. Don't forget that new 10 that you made. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 tens. Did I make a new 100? Yes, I did. There it is. Let's move it to the hundreds column and bring the two tens down to the bottom. And last but not least, we add the hundreds. 2 plus 1 plus 1. 2, 3, 4. 423. Now that's my biggest number. Now if you look over here on the side, there's one extra step today. It says check by using the opposite operation. Hmm, what does operation mean? Operation is whether you added or subtracted. In this problem, we added. So that means that we are going to check our work to make sure that our answer is correct, but we're going to subtract. Now let's think about subtraction. Who was the person, who was the number, that lived at the top of the math mountain that always wanted to be first for subtraction? Our king. Our king is the biggest number. And in this problem, our king is 423. So I'm going to put that number on the top. That's the biggest number. Now, the next number that I'm going to subtract, I get to choose. I have two choices. I can pick 148 or I can pick 275. Whichever number I pick, I'm going to write on the line and subtract it. I think I'm going to pick the top number, 148. Now you might choose to pick a different number, that's okay. Either number works. So I used 148. Let's go ahead and subtract and find our answer. 3 minus 8. Can I do that? No, I can't. Let's go next door and ungroup from our neighbor. Now I have 13 minus 8. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. That's a good one. Now in the tens, I have 1 minus 4. I can't do that either, can I? So let's ungroup our hundred 
and give ourselves 10 more tens. That's 11 tens. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. And last, I have 3 minus 1, which is 2. 275. Wait a minute. Look at our problem that we did. That was the third number, 275. That means that even when I went and subtracted, I still got the same three numbers. I got 423, 423, 148, 148, 275, 275. That means that my answer of 423 was correct. I checked my work by using the opposite operation. Let's try another example. I see that I'm adding again. I see my plus sign. So that means that when I check, I'm going to subtract. Let's go ahead and add. First, I have 9 plus 7. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, did I make a new 10? Yes, I did. Let's put it up top. Put the six ones at the bottom. Let's go to the tens. 9 plus 1 plus 1. 9, 10, 11. Did I make a new 100? Yes, I did. Let's give it to the hundreds and let's put the 110 at the bottom. And last is the hundreds place. 7, 8, 9. So when I added my two numbers together, I got a total of 916. Now my next step is to use subtraction. Since 916 is my biggest number, I'm going to put that on the top of my subtraction problem. Now, let's pick one of the other two numbers. How about this time, let's pick 197 to subtract. And if we are correct, we should get 719. Let's see if we were correct. Now I'm subtracting this time, not adding again. 6 minus 7. Wait, 7 is bigger than 6. I can't have 6 and give you 7. So let's go next door, take my 10 away, ungroup it, and give it to my 1s. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Oh, so far so good. 9 and 9. Let's go to the 10s place. 0 minus 9. I can't do that. Let's go and ungroup to get 10 more tens. Now I have 10 minus 9. Can you help me out? If I have 10 and take 9 away, how many do I have left? 1. There's 1 left. Oh, look at that second grade. 1 and 1. We're so close. And last in the hundreds place, 8 minus 1. That's seven, isn't it? Oh, my answer was correct because I got 719. Let's practice one more example. In this example, you see we are going to start with subtracting. That means when we check, we're going to add. Let's go ahead and subtract quickly. Eight minus two. Eight, seven, six. Three minus six. I can't do that. Let's ungroup and get 13 tens. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. And 3 minus 1, that's 2. Now when we add, we want to get the big king of the mountain. Let's see if we can. 162 plus 276. Let's see. 6, 7, 8. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, ooh, I'm so close, and 2, 3, 4.
great job, second grade.